Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to rip your DVDs using Handbrake on a Mac. So let's get started. Let me switch over my Mac. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to Handbrake and download it. So it's www.handbrake.fr and just click download Handbrake 1.3.3 for Mac OS 10.11 or later. Now if your DVD is copy protected, you'll have to download libdvdcss and you can get that by going to downloads.videoland.org slash pub slash libdvdcss slash 1.4.2 slash Mac OS X and download the package from here. Once it's been downloaded, you can open up the package and install it like any other application on the Mac. A little warning before we go any further. Here in the UK and most of the US, even if you own the original DVD, backing it up or making a duplicate copy like this or removing the copy protection is illegal. Do so at your own risk and know your local laws. IT Snippets accepts no responsibility for anything you do that breaks the laws in your country or anywhere else in the world. So once you've done that, you should run Handbrake and place your DVD that you wish to rip inside your drive. In this case, I'm using 10 things I hate about you. So select your disk and select open. As you can see, it's currently scanning the drive and it has detected the movie. The movie is title one. There's only a single angle in chapter. So basically this is, you can leave this as default if you just want a quick rip. Output format, you can have MKV or MP4. I'm going with MP4. Inside here, you've got various different drop downs for the quality. Uh, fast. 1080p 30 seems to be pretty good. That'll do the movie in roughly about 40 minutes. That'll probably depend on the speed of your Mac. This one is a quad core i7, however, it is a 2012 model. Inside dimensions, you don't have to change anything there. The same with the filters. Video, you can change your codec. And frame rate, if you want to, I just wouldn't recommend that. Inside audio, it shows you all the audio available. So if there's multiple audio tracks, you can select them in here. And inside subtitles, it shows you what subtitles are available. Now there is foreign audio subtitles here, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that to English subtitles, and I'm only interested in the ones that are forced. So that's when perhaps there was a foreign language conversation on screen. And I don't want to burn them in, which means that they're not going to be there throughout the film unless I turn them on. Once I've done that, I select where it wants to go. This is going to go into my home folder and then a folder called movies. And once I'm happy with that, I can change the chapters about it if I want. I'm not really interested in that. I will simply click start and then wait for it to rip. As you can see at the moment, it's doing roughly about 60 frames per second. The film itself will be shot in 24 frames per second or maybe 30. So it should take yeah, about half an hour, 45 minutes. It's saying 30 odd minutes just now, 32 minutes. So I'll leave that and we shall see what happens when we're done. Okay, so that appears to have actually finished. So what I'm going to do is open up my finder, go to the folder, movies, which you can see here, and there is my movie. 
Okay, let's copy it across to my PC and see what it looks like. Okay, that's copied across. So let me switch back to my main machine. Let's see how it goes. So it's created an image of about just over a gig, 1.2 gig probably. Okay, move a bit. Quality wise, that looks fine. And sound wise, that looks fine. So that is how you rip a DVD using Handbrake and Mac OS X. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.